Okay guys, well today I'm going to be doing a load test of this Variac here. It's a Variac I restored a while ago for John. It's a, um, it's a Claude and Lyons Regulac. It's an 8 amp model. It's actually RK8-M. The, uh, the, mo the model type has actually rubbed off the K there, but that is a K under there. 240 volts in, 0 to 275 volts out. And there's a... we got John there at the moment, as you can see. There he is. He's on the video chat. He's uh, being pretty loud. Hey, Sparky's back. There you go, you're on video, Spark. Hey, yeah, okay. All right, so we're going to... This is the lamp here. It is a 2,000 watt, 220 volt lamp. It's actually a Russian one, a vintage Russian. It's a, um, It actually says on top of it uh, 2,000 BTs, which is watts at 220 B, which is volts. And also... It is uh, vintage to the 20th week, 1989, which is quite an old one. It's never been run before, not all the way up, so it's been, just been sat on my shelf since I bought it, and it's just uh, been waiting to be tested, really. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try it out, and uh, we'll see what we get. We've got a, um, a set of meters set up here. We've got uh, volts to the lamp there. We've also got the temperature, which is measured at the bottom there, just underneath there. got a little thermocouple on the center. We've also got amps into the lamp here, and also I'll be measuring the temperature on the outside of the envelope with the infrared thermometer here. Also, we've got a timer when we're up to 8 amps. I want to start the timer on it just to run it. So, we'll plug it in. Zero volts on the uh, variac. Switch on. Alright, so we got some power now. We're going to take up the voltage until we get the filament glowing. As you can see, the amps are going up. Four amps, and that's not very many volts. That's getting pretty bright already. As you can see, I'm already wearing a welding mask. So we've got a full protection here. Okay, let's take it up to let's take it up to 100. There you go. That's 100. 100 volts in, and that's, that's pretty bright. That's actually lighting up the front of the garage pretty well, so let's take it up to 150. Our multimeter's getting up to 7, seven amps, and that's pretty bright to even look at with the uh, with the welding mask, to be honest. That's getting pretty bright. Yeah, that's uh, pretty bright. So we're nearly up to 8 amps, actually. So let's take it up to well, that's eight amps there. So I'm actually going to start the timer up there. So now we're actually performing a load test on the Variac at eight amps, and it's probably about 180 volts we're looking at there. It's actually quite hard to see anything that's just too bright in here. Whoa! I'll tell you what, if I turn the lights off, it's pretty much lights the rest of the uh, the shed up pretty well, you know workshop. Very, very bright. So you can't even look at that with a welding mask at the moment. This is, I'm not sure what uh, shade mask this is, but it's uh, certainly not bright enough to do it. But yeah, we're running just over 8 amps. 26, 27, the temperature's going up on the, uh, the other side of the envelope. Uh, uh, we've got on the top there about 200 and about 230, 220. I hold it on top of the glass there. So yeah, you wouldn't want to touch that. I can feel the heat here. But yeah, temperature's climbing, as you can see. We've been running for about a minute now. And uh, the Variac seems to be handling it pretty well. Thirty-two, twenty-four. Yeah, about 34 on the windings, so that's pretty good. There we go, we're getting, just went into 30 degrees on the bottom of the envelope, the lamp there, on the thermocouple. The top, we're getting about, it's hard to see it, it's just too bright. Here, yeah, I'll uh, read out 230, heat's about 237. 40, yeah, it's all about 240 degrees there, so it's starting to stabilize a bit. Still running at 8 amps, 
no problem. Yeah, coming up to two minutes. There we go, two minutes. I'll probably run this for three minutes and then that'll be it for this lamp as well because that's that's pretty warm. <laughs> Only 180 volts. Oh, that's actually coincidentally 180 volts on there as well. You should know that. <laughs> yeah, this is seriously quite nice. Like the look at the rest of the room. That's that. Lighting things up pretty well. Too bright to look at. Definitely. We've got uh, nearly three minutes now. Very it's not getting warm. It's mainly just the warmth of the actual lamp itself warming it up, so it's not really a very accurate uh, test, really. <laughs> Maybe I should have chose something a little bit more. Uh, Stable now. All right, that's three minutes. I'm going to take the voltage down. Very so slowly. And everything's going to get too dark now, so I'm going to turn the actual light, lights on in the garage. All right, and take that rest of the way down to zero. Yeah, it's just cooling off. It's about 200 degrees, 220. Cool, that is cooling down. The bottom of the envelopes are also cooling down. And there's still actually current flowing through that. Maybe the other way around. I'm not sure. Still cooling down. Variac is uh, warm. But not hot. That's just on this side mainly where the uh, the lamp actually was. So yeah, that's running fine. And uh, unplug safety first. There you go, HDFX. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good, really. That's uh, I want to do. As you can see, the actual uh, lamp's actually darkened now in certain places, so you can tell that's actually been used. And like before, where it's just completely shiny and brand new on the on the filaments there. So. Yeah, it's actually not a virgin lamp anymore. <laughs> the pleasure of seeing that, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Cheers, guys.